good morning class welcome to the lecture of visual art and the today's topic is medium and techniques of visual art in the previous lecture we talked about art and its types so before starting uh, what the medium is being used or medium is used for visual art let us have a review what we studied in the previous lecture in the previous lecture we talked about uh, the definition of art in the ordinary one or in the layman's uh, ideology the art is basically the way of presentation the way of conveying our information the our idea our message from one to another so if i talk about its uh, the specific definition that we studied in the previous one that is the use of skill and imagination in the creation of aesthetic objects environments or experiences that can be shared with other is art so uh, in our day to day life or what we say the art is again whatever we have in our mind and how we are presenting it in front of other and uh, again uh, it depends on our imagination it depends on our mastery how skilled we are to create or to give shape to something that can be uh, the aesthetic object aesthetic object is like which gives a peace happiness to our mind and soul that can be in the form of environment environment uh, we can call it as a realism that can be in the form of experiences see uh, our life is full of different experiences sometimes good sometimes bad sometimes surprising experiences unexpected experiences so how these things are shared with other is known as art so uh, basically our whole life is in art and it is our mastery it is our skill how we are presenting it in front of other how successfully we remain uh, or how successfully we convey our idea to other or we can say uh, we remain successful in conveying our exact idea to other if i uh, talk about visual art visual art is defined as a language of visual signs visual signs uh, uh, the word visual as we all know that can be seen so uh, if i talk about uh, in relation of art here you can see these certain lines are there certain objects are there and uh, we are using some medium to represent our feeling ideas or moods the art as a whole we can say the representation of our ideas mood or feeling which can be visualized by other so again it depends on our quality it depends on our mastery how successfully we convey it to other everyone has in the mind what we will learn after completing this lecture so definitely we will be able to understand we will be able to define visual art we will be able to examine whether we are able to see the pictures correctly or not we are able to explain it to other in a proper way or not uh, we will be able to understand uh, the different terms in relation of that art different terms we will talk in the in the next slide that is medium and uh, by the end of the lecture we will be able to examine the images critically critically to understand its different aspects what the the specific picture tried to convey us 
Now, let us move towards the classification of the visual art. Visual art, as I told you, the, the presentation of science or the presentation of certain uh, ideas, thoughts with the help of science. If I talk about its classification, see, if I, that is again medium, in the different categories it is, it is divided. So, uh, we have certain uh, few in front of us, rest we will talk in our upcoming lectures. Uh, here I am talking uh, the, the words given by the artists. The traditional and contemporary art encompasses activities as diverse as painting, sculpture, drawing, printmaking, illustration, cartoons, ceramics, stained glass, photography, installation, video, film, and the architecture to name a few. We are not having all, we are having few. As uh, see, we all are the student, means we all are the part of I mean, English literature. Uh, so, we are talking uh, a few, not all. So, uh, the different types of paintings are there. The different type, types of uh, presentation is there. So, uh, we have here in that list that is painting. We all are aware what the painting is. Uh, we all are aware of what the sculpture is. If I talk about sculpture, it is uh, like statue, drawing. Uh, in childhood, we have drawn uh, very uh, artistic, funny things as well. Artistic as well as funny things. Uh, printmaking is also there. Uh, we can call it as a, as a type of Xerox. One another wonderful thing we all all enjoyed in our childhood that is cartoon. Uh, if you remember your comics, certain comic characters were uh, drawn, uh, giving different shape. Even today, we people uh, enjoy a lot those cartoon, which are shown in the form of uh, honey bunny, uh, chota bhim, minimal examples are. And one of the, the another has been very famous among us is human, was human, sorry. So that is all a type of human, sorry, uh, this cartoon. If you remember your uh, newspaper, there has been a corner in which cartoon were given. And with the help of cartoon, sometimes in, important information is given under the hidden part. Uh, we have ceramics also. Ceramic is used everywhere in everyone's house. Uh, that is in the form of flower pot, in the form of uh, tea and cups in middle. We have the stained glass, stained glass are uh, the glass for which the painting is done. We have uh, photography. We all uh, are good enough at a selfie. selfie. But selfie is not basically photography. Photography is in art and it needs a wonderful training too. A continuous, a regular, a rigorous training is required. We have video, film and architecture. If I talk about uh, film, again, the specific training is given for that. Architecture. In the, in the field of architecture, we have wonderful monuments. And uh, if I, if I make you remember the Taj Mahal is one of the finest example of that. We have a red fort as well. We have Qutub Minar as well. So many more examples of that fine architecture. Now, moving ahead uh, about the medium, what the medium is, we all are aware the way, the, the means by which anyone try or tries to convey one's ideas. 
that is known as medium or we can in another word we can say something or whatever we the, the way we have to express our feelings to other if i i connect this uh, medium of art to our day to day life we all have feeling in our mind we all have uh, ideas in our mind and if we wish to convey it to someone we use language as a medium to convey that that uh, language can be written can be spoken can be in the form of sign and symbol so is here in relation of art the painter try to convey one's idea with the help of different color different drawing different color combination as well now let us talk about the different mediums of visual art some of them we will study in today's lecture and some i uh, will continue in the next one we have here uh, near about 10 to 12 medium of visual art name of them are watercolor fresco pastel and chalk oil tempera and caustic acrylic stained glass that a uh, stained glass we studied in uh, classification of the visual art tapestry mosaic in everyone's uh, home mosaic is crayon crayon uh, again everyone is using charcoal again everyone is aware about that so no doubt we will study about the same as well now let us talk about the first medium that is watercolor and we can say our first love in our childhood uh, we used to draw or we used to paint certain pictures with the help of water and color and uh, i remember all of us have been uh, said or have been uh, even hard a lot because of this watercolor because we we spoiled our our bed sheet floor walls etc and it's quite simple coloring medium no training is required even training here in the sense we are not supposed to think a lot and it has a less luminous effect and uh, when it is applied it is not very much shiny as i told you it is less luminous effect it is simple and it is quite easy to use as well what we need a brush color and water it dries very very easily next we have fresco fresco is a paint on a moist plaster surface and it is applied with lime water mixture see a uh, lime is lime is something which has the capacity of shine the girls can better understand when they apply henna on their hand they use uh, the mixture of lime water and sugar to make the color of henna shining and good so uh, same is here uh, it gives a shine it gives a moist moist too not easy to make it dry it takes time to dry next we have pastel and chalk if i talk about pastel and chalk uh, it is a it is a combination of dry pigment with a gum binder uh, there might be a question in your mind what is pigment pigment is a uh, basically a natural color which is extracted from the natural objects like green color from the green leaves uh, red color from the rose or uh, if you remember mm, in uh, at the occasion of holi uh, some uh, known as tisu color tisu color are known as organic color or the natural color as uh, the small uh, there is some plant which has some uh, some seeds 
if we keep those those seeds in water it gives the natural color which is which is not harmful for the skin so uh, that pigment is a natural dry color natural color which is dried and uh, it is it is mixed with gum binder and given a shape of chalk uh, you can understand with the uh, with the example of colorful chalk uh, we all have seen white colored chalk as well as different multicolored chalk and those multicolored chalks were quite uh, dry easy to carry easy to use but here if i talk about the color the gum is there so it is uh, the fixed one while the chalk can be removed from the board on the other hand this uh, um, pestilent chalk is not uh, easy enough to get removed it is for a long time next we have oil oil painting everyone has heard the name of the oil painting it is quite expensive because of uh, the color the oil oil is the costly enough while pigment as earlier i told you the natural extract extracted color which has been taken from the nature nature or from the from flower from leaves or many more natural aspect it is mixed with a uh, lime seed oil and applied on canvas uh, because of the use of specific oil it is expensive and uh, it is legible too because it is used on canvas canvas can be can be carried can be folded it is glossy it is shiny it has shine i think i should say we all know uh, that uh, oil has shine nobody likes oiling in hair because bahut uh, bahut chamakta hai and it is for long it dries late it takes time to get dry i should say well if i talk if i compare the other painting with the oil painting uh, the rest other paintings get uh, faded with the time while oil painting is long lasting because it is using oil again you can understand with uh, with another example if there is oil on your cloth it is for longer one the, the i should say the effect of the oil doesn't go early it is for the longer one in the continuation of the same we have the tempera tempera uh, mineral pigment mineral pigment uh, mineral you understand now which is available in our nature and it is mixed with egg yolk or egg white and ore ore uh, is again uh, i should say a rock or earth from which metal can be taken so that is known as ore so uh, this mineral pigment is mixed with egg yolk or egg white and oh uh if you remember uh, when you people entered in 9th or 10th and then you thought of uh, color you were said to buy tube color we can call it in our day to day life in our ordinary life color tube color so it is also easy to use it has shine and again it takes time for getting fit it is not easy to get fit but yes if i compare it with oil painting it is not oil painting is durable than the other okay uh, it's time to talk about our homework and today's lecture uh, we talked about visual art and this classification if i talk about classification we we got to know something about its division 
it was uh, like painting it was uh, architecture sculpture film video photography etc then uh, we talked about media the means by which the artist or the painter try to convey one's ideas then uh, we talked about the different medium as well uh, some of them were like watercolor tempera mosaic uh, oil painting uh, chalk and pastel and we we have many so i think 6 or 7 we completed today rest we will complete in the next upcoming lecture so the homework is uh, on the basis of our study you have to define how the the visual art is classified means whatever we uh, we discussed today in one line or in one word you have to understand and you have to define as well you have to classify as well uh, you have to give the example as well uh, example quite uh, around you can see aap apne aas paas se kar sakte like if i talk about the architecture or in, in relation of architecture you can take certain uh, examples of monument which are in delhi uh, in delhi you might have visited red fort you might have visited qutub minar many more uh, beautiful monuments you might have visited so you can you can note down you can give the name of certain examples of this way after that dear you have to let me know the purpose of visual art uh, with this homework i would like to end the lecture enjoy your day and uh, do the homework as well